guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Lauren Lee 11. And today, guys, I'm going to do a video that you guys requested. I mentioned in my last video, if you wanted me to do a braid out with the pink hair lotion. And a lot of you guys just ex made that and just wanted to have a wash and go with pink lotion and gel. I hope well, that's easy enough to do. I can do that for you. I'm gonna be doing that today. I'm gonna to be mixing it with my Eco Styler. We'll see how this goes. This is actually my favorite eco styler to use on its own. I did used to use it on its own without a, uh, without a leave-in because the natural leave-ins would usually ball up. And you know how annoying that is, guys. But I've tested on my hands to see how well the pink and the eco styler work together. So let me just quickly show you here. So as you saw, I poured it from the pink bottle. And then here, we have the gel. I'm gonna take some from here. And I've got them both in my hand there together. And let's mix this back here so you can see so the exposure is ridiculous so i don't yeah see that guys there's no balling looks like cling film even yes so my hair is fully washed no products in it whatsoever my hair is damp even though it looks this is dry i'm going to go and apply the leave-in which is as i said the pink and then the styler which is the eco styler gel Okay, so uh, let's just jump into it, guys. Okay, so I'm not gonna be talking too much. I know I always say that, guys, but I do love to talk. If I do say that, I'm not gonna talk, guys. Just expect me to talk. I'm going to apply the pink first, like I did last time in my last video. So it's a small amount, and this is my small amount. Just gonna run that all through my hair. And what I love about pink is that it says it helps split ends. Now, the general rule of thumb is that uh, you cut those split ends. I did trim my hair maybe about a month or so, but I am getting split ends again. Not majorly. I go back in. I must say, guys, this bottle's getting very light. I'm going to apply it like I did last time, and I'm going to concentrate on the ends. I did overdo it a little bit last time. So I'm not going to overdo it this time. I'm just going to, uh, yeah. So as you saw last time in my video, this is the definition I got. <laughs> the part that you guys wanted to see, the layering of the products. So I'm gonna do, I think to be honest, I'm just gonna do half a head on camera today, guys, because Tired. Hard as I work for you guys, I just I just ain't got the energy today. I'm not going to shingle, I'm just gonna smooth it down. Um guys, I can't remember if I said why I don't like to use the eco styler by itself, but the reason being is it um it becomes very stiff. Even though I have a bit quite a bit of hair, my hair is not dense, my hair is quite fine, so then when it dries and it gets the cast, it tends to snag my hair a lot. So this is not my favorite one to use by itself, but, but, so this is the only one they had in the store at the time, which is still open, which is not my normal hair store. And I just had to make do, even though it cost 10 pounds, but whatever. What I like about the pink as well, which I think you guys will like when you try this wash and go, is that, as I said from the last video, the pink actually weighs the hair down. So then, obviously, the gel will set the hair. Well, I say obviously, but hopefully, the gel will set the hair in that position. And not weighed down that it just looks flat and limp, but weighed down that you've got a bit of length as well as volume. Because once I break the cast, I will be hoping that there's a bit of volume. I haven't done this together before, so I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. Uh, someone did mention actually to try a Denman brush to get my hair more defined and I've done that in the past and I was going to do it with this one but the reason I'm not doing that is because for one I don't have a Denman brush. Secondly I just don't like how it feels with gel in my hair especially the thickness of this gel and pulling the brush through the ends of my hair. Okay so let me just quickly show you what I've got so far and I'm going to go ahead guys I'm sorry I'm going to go ahead and do the rest off camera so I cannot sit in front of this hot ring light and bake even more. Right, 
Right guys, so I'll be back to you in a minute. Before I finish the other side, I thought I had to come back and show you because I don't even need to say, I, I don't even need to say anything, just look. I, I don't know what's going on here. I'm very impressed, I must say. The definition is crazy, the shine is crazy. I love how it's turning out so far. So I'm gonna continue, I'm gonna let it air dry guys because minimal heat on my hair is possible. I don't want my hair to feel it's okay to be used to heat. All right guys, so let me just go, let me stop rambling, just go and do the other side and I'll be back to you. This is the combo of the pink and the gel together. For those of you who suggested I do this one, thank you. I'm gonna show you the back. Okay. So I'm gonna let my hair air dry. All right guys, so I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you next, in a minute. You guys knew what was gonna happen, didn't you? I feel you have tried this yourself already and you knew that I was gonna love this. I don't think I need to say anything. Look. Do you know how guilty I used to feel walking past this in the store? No, like, oh, man, I can't do it. It's got mineral oil. Knowing that my hair loves mineral oil. Yeah, but I'll be judged. It's, it's amazing what outside influences can do to you if you're susceptible to outside influences, which I was. I'm not going to lie. I have been in the past. You know, sometimes when they say it's not about going back, it's about going forward. Well, in this exceptional circumstance, back is the way forward. My hair is soft. There is no crunch to my hair at all. I haven't crunched out any cast. I haven't done anything to it. All I've done was put it up in a pineapple last night like so. And that's how I slept with my bonnet on. Released my hair this morning. I've got some parts to sort out, like these straight parts. Because if you remember from my last video, the pink lotion did stretch out my hair and I had some straight parts at the back, but I think I've had my hair down long enough for it to shrink back up. Yeah, so like these straight parts, if you can see that, which I'm sure you can see. I've got to get rid of this kind of kink hair because basically when I slept with my hair up in a pineapple, it kind of formed in that way. So I just want to fluff it out and... But I don't know what magical ingredient is in this uh, lotion, no, potion, <laughs> whatever it is. It was enough to keep it on the shelf since my childhood. Someone said to me they have the one with the pump and I was like, a pump? Oh really? Okay, well let me have a look. Let me go and I'm going to pick it. I'm going to try and flatten this bit with the dryer just to smooth it down a bit and then all I'm going to say is today the hair is talking more than me. Anyway guys, thank you so much, so much for this recommendation. I usually give you suggestions to try these type of combos and products and what have you, but today I'm giving you a demand. Try it. All right guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe.